Hey guys, it's me, ClawinChipperX39, here doing another weekly update. Now, first off, I want to apologize for the background noise. As you can see, we have the Ultimaker V2 currently printing a new kind of product, I guess you could say, but I want you guys to let me know in the comments down below if you guys like the quality of this new camera. It should be 1080p, and... Um, as you can see, I can zoom in a lot farther. That's as far as I can zoom in. I can focus and um, all the normal stuff, but I'm using my, instead of this camera, I'm using the, let's see, it's the Rebel T4i with a 135 millimeter lens. And uh, that's my old camera there. Just as a quick look, but what I'm printing here I can get some really cool shots. Look at that quality, guys. I'm printing a, if I grab over here, a almost life-size, I'd say this is about a third scale smoke grenade or flash grenade that, as you guys know, I sell the really small ones for LEGO minifigures, but, you know, here's my whole hand. This is 3D printed in black, and as you can see here, I'm printing one in green. And I will be selling these at Brick Cascade and maybe some other conventions I'm going to, but as you can see here, it looks pretty awesome. There we go. And uh, no price yet has been determined, but if you guys want one of these, I will be selling them. And they will be pretty cheap, I would say, for a 3D printed item. This large, but pretty awesome. So I'm making a few of those. As you can see here, once again, green, I'm kind of reiterating myself. Um, but this takes about three hours to make one, and I'll be making probably two more in black and just have three total. Um, I might make one in blue, so, you know, I actually did make one in blue. Here's a smaller one. We, there we go. So there's that, so that's kind of cool. But, let's see what else is going on over here. There is a scene that I have yet to post on Flickr. We, there we go. And then right over there, I posted that on Flickr. I think I already showed you guys that. One thing I did um, build the other day was, a lot of you guys know I have the Brickmania, um, let's see, Universal Carrier right up there the tan one and I had the instructions and I was thinking you know I'm kinda bored I wanna build something so I built it in dark bluish gray so I built it all dark bluish gray I do need to order some parts for it such as the treads um, I have to spend like thirty dollars on treads and it you know I built this with my own parts you know digging through bins and you know giant piles of Lego like that but I built it, as you can see, it kind of fell apart just because I've been playing with it. I got the printed duffel bags on the back there. And uh, it looks pretty good. So I'm kind of excited about that. And then, let's see. What else is going on over here? Um, not too much over here. Over here, not too much. Oh, yeah, here. We have a 135th scale, if it'll focus, M2 Browning machine gun. Here's the box for it. Still getting the hang of it, guys. There we go. So it's a 135th scale M2 machine gun. Now the problem is missing the main receiver body. Now all these are different sprues of you know, ammo cans and whatnot, and these are really small. Like, I'm starting on this ammo can. If I can. It's so small, I'm trying to put it in the palm of my hand. There we go. Maybe. There we go. You guys can see that. It's really small. So, I'm working on that. Um, I'm assembling that just to see what they look like in a Lego world. Um, what else, what else, what else? 
I have been, I listed a bunch of used BrickLink parts on my BrickLink store. And by the time you're seeing this, you probably already saw the Battle of Moscow. As you can see here, I moved it from this table all the way right here. This was completely cleared off, so this is kind of my building and finishing portion. And over here, I'm preparing for Bricks Cascade, which is coming up next week. So, if you guys are in the Portland, Oregon area or any of the bordering states of Portland, come down to Bricks Cascade. It is, let's see, um, the 14th. I have my calendar over here. It is the 13th. Well, for the public, it's four, the 14th and the 15th, so that's Saturday and Sunday. So if you guys want to come down, meet me, check out the you know convention. It's a really awesome convention. This Battle of Moscow will be going. That's official. It is registered as a mock, and it's pretty awesome. So I don't want to go too much in depth with that because you probably already watched the Battle of Moscow video. And yeah, so I've just been packing stuff. I got Minecraft tools, all the good stuff. I made 40 Spartans. If you guys didn't see my haul from Brick Forge, I made 40 of them Spartans for the convention because you guys really like those. But yeah, so not not too much is going on. Um, just trying to think. I will be doing a new video series. I want to let you guys know I'm going to be reviewing sets. Hopefully, I want to say when I get. I want to say, let's see, it's March, I want to say by late April I'm going to be reviewing the newest sets of pretty much any genre that I like. I'm not going to be reviewing Chima and whatnot, like Star Wars, Marvel, DC, stuff like that. But I'm going to do a video series, I'll, I'll get in more depth when it comes around, but I'm really excited for the series. Also, I'm going to be setting up a um, PayPal account and I'm gonna start live streaming once again this is all after Brooks Cascade live streaming me building and working on the Battle of Moscow and we're gonna be raising money for charity so I'm really excited for that really really excited for that actually so once again let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of the new camera do you guys prefer this over the old one because the old one just recorded in uh, 720p, but I'm actually pretty sure it did. Rec it recorded in 1080. I'm o I'm almost 100% positive it did, but the way I rendered it, it only did 720. But I might not be doing something right there. But once again, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll see you guys next time. See ya.